Hello and welcome to another solo episode on the Traumweberinnen podcast. My name is Manuela and for this one I am finally able to shoot this in daylight because I feel like the video or the quality of the video is a lot better when I do this during the day than during the night. But I'm a night owl so we'll see if I can make it for, for the next one as well. But I actually really enjoy the natural light and, and doing this during the day. But we'll see how it goes. My topic for this episode is freedom. I want to talk about what it means to be free in the society, for me personally. Um, in the last episode, in the last solo episode, I talked about vulnerability and how or why I find it important that we share our true self stories and not just the beautiful stories or the the stories that are told a lot in the society and the stories that we get praised for telling. Um, they do they also have their their right to be here and there are plenty of, of stories that that cater to this to this storyline that is is everywhere basically this struggling hard and then finally making it and then the story ends but you're still struggling <laughs> but but that the, there is this this reward in our society for for struggling and for having a hard time and and that the end goal of those stories the 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 success and being in a way better than others, be it financially, be it success terms, be it relationship terms, this happily happily ever after, being married, having kids, living in a white picket fence house. These are all storylines that have been told over and over and that are these atypical, this is these are the stories that I'm going to share because these are the stories that I'm going to be praised for. I'm actually not sure if I'm completing the sentence or if I have missed a verb somewhere, <laughs> but you know what I mean. These are the stories that we love to share and these are the stories that I myself have loved to share because they, yeah, you... When you make it in these terms that society has defined for you or that society has defined are are the rules here basically or are the terms of Ooh, when, when you do this when you have this your top of the game it fulfills a self-worth issue for many of us who don't even know that they have self-worth issues <laughs> like I for example never had the feeling that I had self-worth issues until I now discovered <laughs> that I I put a lot of my self-worth into being able to tell these stories. Am I the super social bee person that that is constantly socially active, doing stuff, having friends? A part of my personality really is that way. But I put a lot of emphasis on me being that way because as a as a young adult or even as a child, I noticed that I got praised for being super sociable and oftentimes even overstepping my own boundary in being social and in catering to other people's needs. I noticed pretty early on that I was praised for that. And that in return, that fed my self-worth. And so I would constantly, or not constantly, but time and time again, overstep my boundary in this aspect, in being super sociable, being part of so many projects. I, lo I love, like part of my par personality really loves being part of so many projects. But it really got into an unhealthy, it really got an unhealthy dynamic because I think it would get addicted to getting the praise and being able to tell those stories, tell, oh, I'm in the theater group and I'm in, in the orchestra and I'm doing this and doing this and all these projects were catered to to my needs or were in the fields that I was good at and that I wanted to do the projects, but the amount of the projects that I always did, it got, 
yeah it, it did get a little bit of a healthy dynamic and I'm I'm trying to like with COVID I managed to tone it down a bit and I'm now I'm again in a in a in a phase of my life where I'm really looking at this and where I've really noticed that yes I like those projects but d- does it really fulfill me that much doing them all so I've, I've kind of stepped onto that <laughs> onto that line and discovered that about myself that might have been a self-worth issue taking on so much and and yeah and and for me it was always really important being able to tell those stories being able to tell the stories of in what aspects of life am I better than others or in what aspects of life am I outperforming my peers um am I on the right track for fulfilling that storyline living by the rules of society being better than others climbing the career ladder and I'm I've always been very concerned about my freedom like freedom is something that even as a kid I never articulated as much because my parents were very as an only child you're always the middle of attention and so I feel like I wanted to fulfill a lot of the expectations and also I was never allowed that much freedom apart from their rules and apart from their expectations and so this is really something that has been coming a lot inside of myself a lot this need for freedom and this need for being independent and for making my own way and being my own person and I always thought that the only way to ultimate freedom is obviously financial freedom and is success I was thought to be really free unconsciously I've just <laughs> I've just discovered this thought pattern of mine unconsciously was always like if I want to be free and unbound in a society I have to fulfill all of the all of the expectations of society I have to take every box I did not go into the direction of like family and white picket fence because that that picture of that 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 kind of like societal matrix of that being like the desirable one I think started to crumble when I was a kid so that's not a story that I believed in and that I was like or not an illusion that I fell for yeah so for me my illusion of being free was I was like you have to climb the corporate ladder you have to make a career for yourself and then you're ultimately free as an adult because then you're making so and so much money and people revere you because you have made a name for yourself in the corporate system and so I would really try my best to take all the boxes do all the internships do all the prestigious stuff to to really get ahead of my peers and to get the better jobs better jobs (laughs) to really um excel in the corporate world in the field of my choice journalism has always been dear to my heart or the job where I was like this I'm good at this and this is the field where I want to work in so at least I chose the field but yeah my in my my subconscious was always like okay you want to be free you want to be independent go climb the corporate ladder and basically be a slave to everyone else and at some point ultimately you will be free and when I did that and when I pursued that I have never been more unfree (laughs) in my life I have not climbed far on the corporate ladder I have to admit (laughs) but climbing the first few steps I was like this is this is not giving me the freedom this is weird I had a lot more freedom when I was studying with less money which is weird I mean I didn't get paid that well but still I was like how is this even possible that I was freer when I was poorer (laughs) freer when I was poorer and then I read a quote 
um, <laughs> that really stuck with me. A quote on Instagram by someone super rich, millionaire person. I don't remember his name. And he was like, I would trade all of my wealth to be 21 <laughs> and poor again. And it was kind of this, like, because the lifestyle, you're so free and you're so, yeah, there are no no worries on your shoulders. You're just free and you're just being. And I was like, oh my God, if somebody says that, who's like a millionaire, billionaire, where you're like, I want to I wanna be that person. I want to live that life. And he's like, he would trade all of his wealth to be 21 carefree <laughs> and poor again. So I was like, okay, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> and it, it was at a time... And I mean, I have to, I have to add that as a woman, when you're on birth control and you're taking all those hormones, I was really, I felt like I was really numb and I wasn't feeling a lot <laughs> anymore. So that was kind of, that was a moment where I was like, I used to feel so much more and now I feel so numb being in this corporate hustle world, trying to excel at everything and trying to meet all the expectations trying to live a fairy tale basically but not a good one <laughs> and taking all those hormones I, maybe it was a combination why i was feeling so numb and i was like or to me it was like okay i've tried this route and it doesn't lead to ultimate freedom let's reverse and try another round it wasn't it wasn't that conscious to me in the moment but like right now and let's get into this perspective of me right now <laughs> right now I have never felt so free in my entire life I have complete time freedom yes I have a job but it is a little bit more flexible when it comes to the hours and I feel like me going through all of these processes I don't feel the need to be perfect at everything anymore and I don't feel the need to um like my self-worth isn't based on my work anymore I do the work that I get paid for and I I want to do that work well and I'm invested but I'm not I'm not invested in it anymore in a toxic way. Like I don't give I don't give my all anymore. I give my best or I do my best and I I want to do my work well. I like what I do. I like the people that I work with. I'm now in an environment where I feel like I'm a lot more appreciated. I definitely I definitely am more appreciated financially and it is not it is not climbing the corporate ladder in a sense that i thought before it is not catering to this need for the perfect storyline and i have had the feedback from people close to me who are from an older generation who are like i know you're better now but it it doesn't what did they say it doesn't it doesn't sound as good anymore talking about what you do now <laughs> and I'm like yeah it doesn't sound as good anymore because I'm not doing the the top-notch job or the most prestigious job I'm doing a normal job now I'm being a normal person doing a normal job so that I have the energy to in my free time pursue what I'm truly passionate about and build something up without the pressure of having to outperform everybody else I can do my podcast in my in my time with the energy that I have left and to my own rules and I am a lot more happier doing something average <laughs> and I feel really good doing something that does not fulfill the storyline that I always wanted to fulfill that was linked to my self-worth but I am freer doing this I am free to spend time with my girlfriends I'm free to spend time with myself to really 
to have the energy to do this podcast, to have the energy to, in my free time, really develop my personality and the projects that are dear to my heart and where I see a long term that I want to pursue long term and that for me that for me is the freedom that I personally for my life want and I'm right now I'm trying to redefine the word freedom for me and I feel like I've I have I have redefined it for me because I feel again and for for the last couple of weeks I've been just just feeling I haven't done as much in the outside world I sat for hours yesterday in my balcony just feeling feeling and being so grateful that I can feel myself again I'm off the birth control pill I'm my hormones are spiking or going crazy and I hope that they will come to terms with themselves at some point and that is strenuous and I'm like why well, didn't you take it in the first place but everything has its time and everything has its validity and birth control pill was the best option for me for these first years and yeah now I'm just happy to to give my body the chance to cleanse itself and to reorient itself to come back to itself and I have never felt so much as I'm feeling now in the past couple of years I have been a very joyous and very like I, I have loved feeling and sucking the marrow out of everything that I've done during the times when I was studying I was so present and that was the ultimate freedom that is that feeling is the ultimate freedom for me and I lost it when I was chasing the dreams that everybody else had about me and yes they've loved me and they have been concerned about me and that's fine and that's okay and that's valid and I have taken that route and I think for me that has been pivotal and that has been so important that I did make these experiences, that I was able to chase these dreams and find out that they were not mine. That has been the greatest gift and I know that I needed that and I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. I needed to experience all those challenges to really see with my own eyes that these were not my dreams. They were the dreams that I concocted in my head mixing all of the expectations that people had about me and where I felt oh these dreams would be perfect for my self-worth so that people would praise me and so that people would find me amazing and I don't know it was just the yeah the linking piece to boost my self-worth and I feel like I've really now that I feel so good I can talk about it and I can see it and for the past two weeks I've spent a lot of times with a lot of time a lot of time <laughs> with really 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 good friends and just being able to feel them again so I have really redefined what freedom means for me in the past couple of days because I have felt so free and so happy and so present and so connected to myself and my feelings and so for me, true freedom means being able to cater to my own needs. Being ultimately free means that I am free to take care of myself and to really listen to my body, to my soul, to my mind. Being able to sit in personal development. I have time to read personal development books and listen to personal development podcasts, spirituality podcasts. I am free to consume, to consume videos, podcasts, books that, that are good for my soul and for, for learning, for healing. I can take the time to really get in tune with myself. I'm not constantly in survival and I'm also not constantly feeding to, to a, a, a perfect picture, feeding to a perfect picture that I need for my self-worth. 
I don't I don't need it anymore I don't I have stopped caring what other people or no I have not stopped caring what other people think of me but I have stopped caring that I have something to present to people I've stopped caring or I've stopped caring that I don't have something to present to people I'm being a normal person I'm not better than anybody else <laughs> I have nothing to talk about or I mean I do have my podcast to talk about but I don't share I don't share this with people who you know what I mean I don't share this with people who would then demean it I yeah a lot of things have shifted inside of me but I don't I'm I feel like I can I'm so grounded in my own energy I don't need to talk about oh I'm doing this or that to feel worthy in the presence of certain people I don't need that anymore and I don't need to uphold a story of myself that is not true and I don't need to live this perfect career story I mean I would love for this podcast to open doors for me that I cannot even plan or foresee but that is really the beauty of what I'm living right now is I'm making sure that my basic needs are met that I'm living my daily life in a way that I'm healthy in a way that is healthy for me in a way that I can care for myself in a way that I have enough energy to spend time with friends to spend time alone to do the self-development work that I want to do that I have time to learn interesting new hobbies and stuff that I want to get into and now I've lost my thread <laughs> my time is not fully spent on catering to a storyline that I need for my self-worth and yeah so when I'm talking to people where in the past I would have been bragging about my academic success or my relationship or you know telling regurgitating this perfect story over and over I don't have anything to talk with these people anymore so they either drop out of my life <laughs> or they say things like oh, it used to sound so good talking about your academic success or about your vacation and now it doesn't sound as good anymore yeah it doesn't sound as good anymore but I'm good I'm feeling I'm feeling the world I'm feeling myself I'm feeling my friends I have complete time freedom and now that I have freed myself of this construct that I wanted to fulfill, I'm like, I have nothing that binds me anymore. Like, I have nothing to, to reach, no goal to reach. I'm completely free. I'm floating around. And if I, if I leave this country in a year and I don't know, I love what, what Mooney said in the last interview, open a bar in Australia. Having that option in the back of your mind is really nice. I mean, I'm probably not going to open a bar, but just this idea of I can travel to wherever I want for as long as I want. I could, yeah, I could quit my job and work in a bar in a, in a foreign country if I wanted to, because my self-worth is not tied to what I do anymore my self-worth is not tied to a certain job position vocation I'm completely free I'm I'm only doing what feels good to me and I mean obviously I do have to make money to survive and I'm doing that but my self-worth is not tied anymore to how I earn that money and how much money I earn I might earn a little bit less in that month and a little bit more in that month and obviously like everybody I would like to have an unlimited amount of money but I'm trying to manifest that <laughs> and as soon as I'm super successful doing that I will I will give you a hint <laughs> of what worked for me so I'm on that obviously it would be it would be nice to not have to do something for your living anymore but I'm I'm trying to figure this out I'm still in the beginning of my journey and I think that when you follow your passion and what really lights you up, what, what fills your energy batteries and what is really, truly, authentically you, when you walk that path, doors are going to open and 
right now I'm just super hyped that I'm feeling myself again and that I'm that I have found this freedom where I w where I where I was least expecting it I found the freedom in the ordinary and the simplicity of life I found the freedom in not being better than anybody else and not outperforming and not being special which is totally fine and can be exactly what gives you freedom but for me it's yeah I have freed myself of the construct that I made and this construct was the limitation that I put on myself I was like I have to walk this certain path I have to do this I have to get this job and I have to do 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 and then ultimately at some point I will be free and no I was imprisoning myself and now I'm just I'm being and I'm okay with what I do and what I am or I don't have to do anything I can just be and it's okay and I saw this in a reel lately of a friend of mine where she was like there is no urge anymore to do anything. I can just be and it's okay. And I was resonating so much with that. So yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. I'm really enjoying the summer. I'm taking it slow. I'm spending a lot of time with my friends. Yeah. And I'm just being a normal person, doing normal stuff, feeling <laughs> absolutely joyous and the most free I've ever been I mean I have been pretty free while I was studying but I was still in this okay I'm studying to fulfill this and this and this at some point and now I'm just like I have my degrees I'm working a job that I like and that pays for my basic needs and if I quit in a year and move out of the country nobody Care, care, okay nobody cares what, but I, I wouldn't care I wouldn't care if I did that and that's actually I love how freeing that is in my mind to be like absolutely limitless when it comes to constructs and I'm still working on freeing my self-worth from other people that is I think that's going to be a longer journey a longer path or something that I will have to continuously bear in mind that I do not base my self-worth off of other people's expectations that is yeah my learning curve <laughs> in this life but yeah I hope that you were able to to gain something from this you do not have to do certain things to be loved you don't have to do certain things to be worthy you don't have to have a certain job to be worthy you do not have to fulfill this story that you've created over the years that you have to fulfill to be worthy. You don't. You don't. And people will love you more for being you and for taking care of yourself. I have so much more energy and resources for the people that I love and for myself. And it really, it changes, it has changed all of my relationships for the better. I have been such a, I've been grumpy dwarf for the past three years or a rendition of grumpy dwarf and now I'm happy dwarf so <laughs> happy little hobbit. <laughs> yeah you do not have to, you do not have to fulfill certain expectations to be worthy. You already are and you are so 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 much loved by your peers, by your friends, by your parents, by the universe, you are supported. And when you decide to bet on the universe, it will be there to hold you and it will meet you halfway. I've, I've already talked about this. We are so, so, so much more supported than we think we are. And the universe, the universe helps and supports those who help and support themselves and when you tune into yourself that gives you so much more than fulfilling all of the expectations <laughs> believe me I've been there I've fulfilled all the expectations even my own super super high expectations and I was so miserable I was so miserable because it was not truly and authentically myself and what I came here 
to do. And I still don't know what I came here to do. <laughs> but at least I'm not doing something where I definitely feel it's not it. And I'm, yeah, trying to peel back the layers to make myself more and more free from the limitations and the expectations of society and of the people around me. And I love it. 10 out of 10 can recommend. <laughs> So yeah, I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and see you, not next Sunday, but every second Sunday here on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Amazon Music. And if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.